Check out these curls. Your girl Monet is wearing her hair natural more often. And if I'm sweating like crazy, excuse me, it is hot as West Hell in New York right now. I recently went to the Diva Sean Salon and got a uh, haircut. What was it like six days before filming this video? And Rosie, who cut my hair, was telling me you only need to shampoo your hair once a week and to try. Uh, different styles so my curls still look awesome except for where it was heat damaged and I wouldn't let her cut but you know that's on me not her so I decided to try a twist out using their mousse because you know I am a mousse girl I'm going to two strand twist it going the opposite way of how I want my hair to fall notice I pull most of my hair forward I am dividing my hair like a pizza pie it's in six sections and I am doing a two strand twist. I'm making sure to keep my dry hair um, to keep the twists in clean sections, but my sections in between the twists are not clean for the reason that I have fine hair. And if I make my parts clean, when I take my hair out, you'll be able to see it. And you know, ain't nothing cute about all your scalp showing. If that moved a little too fast, don't worry, I'll slow it down for you on the next twist and explain to you how I did it. Now, all of my hair normally goes to, I want to say, the left, but I am twisting it to the right. I took the hair in two sections, I twist it over top, then I take another section and add it to the bottom, twist over top, add it to the bottom, twist over top. You know, started from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> Just joking. And I'm making sure to twist each section in the opposite direction as I twist it around the hair. That may sound confusing. If you can get it, great. If you don't, you know, don't worry about it. Your twist will still be cute. And for thicker hair people, you may want to do more than six twists. You see how I subdivided that section? You may want to have 12 twists. Notice that when my hair is tangled, I don't comb it or brush it. I'm just using my fingers to separate the hair. I'm making sure to keep my twist as clean as possible. And I am not borrowing hair because when you cheat on these twists and you do a lot of borrowing, when it's time to take the twist out, your twist haven't fully formed. So yeah, I went to Divashan. And this lady had my hair doing some incredible things that I never thought it could do. So she said no water for a week and, you know, I'm, I'm trying it out. I'm listening to her. In the interest of making sure to twist the hair in the opposite direction of how I want it to fall, I am twisting this hair toward my face, but I will be styling my hair more away from the face and I'm keeping my twist sections as clean as possible you know pick up here under take it over 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 and twisting the individual sections in my hands opposite directions and twisting it around itself that's how you get that thicker rope look and for people like myself with finer hair I gotta do whatever I can to get my hair as full looking as possible and that's why I have these thicker sections. And let me show you what I'm going to do in the back. I think you basically have the idea down of how to twist the hair. When I lift my, uh, when I separate the hair and lift it up, you can see my hairline starts higher up. Inside joke for those who watch the Diva Sean <laughs> haircut video. Rosie said my hairline starts harder, high up. But, you know, that's okay. I work with what I got. Now time for the good stuff. The Divashan Frizz Free Foam. I'm going to put a pretty decent amount and my hair is dry. It's fine if you can see the mousse sitting on top of the twist because I'm going to go to sleep on it so it doesn't matter. Anybody remember that old song? It doesn't matter. 
<laughs> oh, and I also had the Diva Arc gel in my hair from when I went to the salon. And Rosie styled my hair for me. She put a lot of that Arc gel in my hair. So it felt pretty hard. It felt hard when my hair first dried, but she loosened it up quite a bit. Well, anyway, I digress. Back to this set. So I'm going to take a flexi ride, and I'm wrapping my hair around the flexi. And I'm directing it the opposite way of how I want my hair to fall. And then I lock one side over and the other side under. Next up, a side twist. I'm going to... I wrap it around my fingers to ensure that the twist is all the way twisted on the ends because I try not to borrow any hair on the bottom. And even if the hair is not all the way twisted, you can still flexi the hair and it'll come out beautifully when done right. I needed to add a little bit more of the mousse because the, my hair was already uh, drying. I need the moisture of the mousse as well as the setting capability of the mousse in order to get a great set on my hair. And you know these are not normal products that are used all the time in the natural hair community so I'm really skeptical. I saw them using it on a lot of Caucasian clients in the salon but hair is hair. Hair has no ethnicity so I'm trying it out. Oh, and this is just my silk scarf wrap up for the night because I really am going to sleep. I have a wedding tomorrow. They found me through my bridal site, bridesmadeup.com, so I got to look cute at the wedding. This is how I am untwisting my hair. This is the proper way to remove a flexi. You untwist it. You don't just snap the hair out. This is how I'm getting the spirals instead of like an odd curl. What I just held up was my unrefined coconut oil because I need that to loosen up this set. I needed to coat my fingertips to help me avoid frizz. Although the mousse was frizz free, I want to do everything I can to keep the frizz to a minimum. And like I said, the arc gel was in my hair and that dried kind of hard. This foam dried with a bit of hold as well, which let Rosie tell it I need that because my hair is so fine. I never would have thought a heavy gel would be good for my hair. So she recommended that I couple the Arc Gel with the uh, frizz-free foam because the foam has a lighter hold. So it's, it's looking okay, you know, we'll, we'll see. And plus it's my first time playing in my hair since I got a haircut. Let's see if I'm able to to style it nicely and you know I got to go with the pick to give it a little bit of lift and volume. Notice that I parted my hair the opposite way of how I sectioned it for the twist out. Those of you who are blessed with curly really coarse and thick hair you can part your hair alongside the twist out. I am not able to do that because I got to come up with all types of tricks. And there are a few tangles at the end from the Arc Gel. But, you know, overall, I feel like the hair looks pretty good. I, I think I'm, I'm digging it. It feels just so different than what I am accustomed to. Different is not always bad. Sometimes it's literally just different. So this is it. What do you think? Okay, so sometime later, it loosened up even more as I walked around in the humid New York uh, weather and I really like it. I might uh, do a two strand twist set and put a little of the arc gel on it and then add just a little bit of foam directly on top. Do you like? Do you like? What do you think? Hairandmakeupblog.com.